All right, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Fired Up Fridays, Fire Disc. And I'm Todd Fuller with Fire Disc Cookers. And today we've got our newest ambassador, Chef Brandon McGlamry. Thanks for joining us today, Brandon. Awesome to be here, man. Yeah, so today we're going to, I guess, first of all, figure out and and tell you why we're why we're doing fri Fired Up Fridays. And really the reason is is about you there in Facebook land and all of our owners and people that might be interested in using fire discs and you know Brandon and I have been friends for geez over 10 years and so I'm excited to be working with him and uh, we're today we're in Winter Park Florida actually in Brandon's backyard here so in where our, fo he, our football stadium that's right <laughs> so anyway so today we're gonna we're gonna do some recipes but before we get started I really want to tell you why we, uh, we're doing Fired Up Fridays. And the, the reason is, is that we want to really give you some how-tos and tips to really, with Brandon's expertise, and you know, talk about food selection, food prep, and really the best practices with, with the fire disc, and also knives and, and the other tools that, that you use in your specialty every day. So why don't you give us a little kind of background of of what you do here in Winter Park in, in your restaurants and kind of your culinary experience? Well, I started cooking uh, back when I was 18 years old and uh, I actually kind of grew up in Florida and left here, went off uh, in the big cities and learned to cook from some, some chefs that, that knew what they were doing and uh, at least I, I really believed in what they were doing and uh, went from there. But now, uh, current days, besides uh, fishing with you and uh, uh, quarterbacker for my son in the front yard. Uh, I have three restaurants, Lumont Park and Winter Park, Prato and Winter Park, and Luke's in Maitland. Um, and all three, three uh, as you said, just fun restaurants. Each one of them has their own different individual concepts. You know, Lumont's a little bit more fi fine dining, uh, American driven f uh, farm, direct, fresh kind of uh, uh, food concept, uh, very wine driven and then okay. Prado is a, is, a, is a bite off of that. It's an Italian wood burning theme. Um, we got uh, two uh, Kunto ovens from Italy. Um, that's, we do, do all oak in there okay. and uh, all, all of our pasta is made from scratch and so it's, that's a really you know fun restaurant. Sure. I know that's sure. one of your, that's why I oh, always yeah. meet you. Yeah, yeah. Um, My favorite yeah, for fun. sure. And then we also have Luke's which is, is an American uh, wood fire bar and grill and uh, it's, it's a great cocktail program. You know, an, an amazing chef, and I, I'm just blessed to be, you know, associated with right. good people and good products, just like the Fire Disc. And yeah, uh, I think that you know, for me, I, I'm so excited for you to share, you know, your passion for for cooking, and to translate that into new recipes and and really how to take advantage of, of all the features of the Fire Disc. And I know, you know, when I first introduced you, came over to my house. No, it was probably three weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, cooked so on I'm, it for the first time and. Why don't you just kind of give us a little feel for kind of what your experience was with it for the first time and the advantages and, and why you decided to, you know, kind of work with us and, and really help people enjoy their fire disc more. I, I think the first thing I saw behind the product was mainly the people running running it and, and then the craftsmanship, craftsmanship and the quality of the, uh, the tool that we have at hand. Right. And once I got that, I said, this is something I can really, you know, Get on board with, and after cooking it for the first time, and, and you're, I was like, this thing's got amazing potential. Right. Um, you know, it's it's an it's an asset to all your cookware, but right. it's it's not the only piece. But it, I think what it is is one of those things that you can be outdoors, which you and I both adore oh, being yeah. outside. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather be outside than anywhere else. Right. And it's one of those things that just allows you to do that and you know even with you know other grills and everything that are smokers or whatever other thing we have right is it gives you an a asset to to really have firepower in a pan and right. cook multiple things on multiple levels right and it's easy to clean it's you know easy to monitor the heat regulation is perfect um i'm excited you know and, and you know one thing about this is you know you can you can throw a touchdown a minute with this thing <laughs> you know and you you can uh you know, and that's like cooking, you know, so I think one thing we talk about today is, you know, just in this kind of cooking, you know, be flexible. Don't go by right. recipes 100%. Go with your gut feeling. And, you know, if, if a guy's wide open, throw to him. 
Right, you know, right. it's the guy that you've wanted to throw to that's covered, I'll throw it on. So, right. you know, in cooking, you have the same kind of concept, uh -huh. yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you, you know, you just, you play it out, and, you know, with this cookware, you're going to be 90% successful right. in, in your flavor and your execution. Even Lefty the dog, you think so, right. don't you, Lefty? So, one of the things that you mentioned, and I, and I think one of the unique features is really the the different temperature zones and, and the ability, you know, you, you, you said, wow, this is really cool because it, it's similar to what we do in the restaurant in, in the fact that it's staged cooking, right? So you've got the hot, the hottest part in the center and as you move out toward the side of, of, the, uh, of the disc, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it gets cooler and cooler. So the ability really to, to cook, you know, a full meal mm -hmm. in one sitting and you know not have to use a bunch of pans and pots and all that stuff that, that's it's so great simple thing. i mean yeah and my wife's so excited about it because I, I cooked for eight people the other night uh and we did not even use the kitchen right i did it all in this and you know a couple of weeks the first first test i did on it was i you know i try to eat healthy during the week right so i take my my lunches with me so i said i'm gonna cook everything in one shot in one pan right in one time and being able to manipulate pieces and keep them going and and then you know start them out here and get the beautiful color right. on them move them up to the top and let them kind of li like slowly continue to cook right but at a slower level where you don't right. drive proteins out and stuff like that right. and then getting other things and then knowing if they're dropping any uh juices or anything oh, yeah. that's beautiful yeah, and, yeah. and delicious uh this is one of those things that, that you just are able to manipulate yeah and, and, and i think it takes a little time it took me a little time yeah. to get used to it right to figure out the temperature zones but once you figure it out and you know we're really gonna help you do that um you know with fired up friday so mm -hmm. before we go any further i want everybody to know that you can put make comments ask questions and we're going to be doing a giveaway for anybody that leaves a comment let us know you know where you're from where you're watching who's your favorite team this weekend just put some comments there and we'll be we'll be giving away um some really cool swag we've got a some hats and um spices and a cooler pack and um yeah, we got a bunch of stuff we're going to be giving away, so go ahead and do that. So let's get uh, let's get started. Right. So I, one of the things that I like to do... You are telling me about this and I love it, yeah, so I think it's an awesome is idea. ...is to start every meal with cooking bacon, right? It re-seasons the, the pan every time. So let's go ahead and um, let's, do, let's do that. All and right. I'll, let you, I'll let you kind of get started with this. Uh -huh. I think bacon is... Uh, the beautiful thing in life that uh, we all just, you know, I just turned the pan down, so maybe. So you mainly do this, and, and this is something that you were telling me, Todd, and I loved it. I thought it was a great idea. You do this just to season the pan, and then you keep the bacon as a snack and stuff like that. Yeah, which, you know, kind of a... Everybody knows that the cook should always have a, a fresh cold right. drink in his hand and <laughs> a piece of bacon. That's you right. You know, and then this. And so you just kind of... We were telling about you just wipe it on, on the pan like this, right? And then you can actually always add it in there. So I, I know the first recipe, and the great thing about that, as you see, and that's how you grease it, right? As you were telling me. Yep. Then you can slowly move it up here to render, which I think is phenomenal. Lefty the dog's gonna be coming over here any second. He's a bacon freak. And move it up over, keep it out of there. Now you've got some good color on it already, so now we're just gonna. Move it up over here to the thing. I'm having a little trouble manipulating that. There you go. And once it's there, it just seems to just stay everything. That's what I like about it is uh, it appears to be very domed, but it's right. not. Right. It's actually a very. Uh, it's, it's more. <coughs> it's shallower mm -hmm. in in, uh, in design, and and that's you know mm -hmm. awesome for many many things like mm -hmm. you, you talked about the other day, um, being able to and you can see the juices uh, from the. Yeah. Uh, the grease and stuff from the bacon uh -huh. is running down to the center. So and then you just kind of dap that up lightly to get any of that excess, the, the, the niceness off of there, and then the, the, any excess fat is actually in there coating. Now we're gonna let this coat in our uh, our first recipe, which is a fired up chicken wing recipe. I really love chicken wings, so I always start with you know first thing you're always gonna do is get your uh, oil in there. I like to do, uh, what I've been playing with in this is, is I, I've played with three different oils. Uh, vegetable oil being one, canola being the other, and, and grapeseed. I know you're, you're partial to grapeseed. Uh, I love the grapeseed. And I love the grapeseed too. One thing about the grapeseed is it's healthier, right? but it's also three times the cost of the other stuff. So if you want to do something, 
But the other stuff does work. At, the grape seed has a higher smoke point than all the other ones. Right. That's that's but, that's the main reason I like it is that is the smoke. Sure, point and it sure. actually does very well. And you can you know you can go to any of your big name stores and stuff and, and buy you know a gallon of the grapeseed oil. And right. It's just a little bit more, but it, it, there is a cost difference. Right. But to me, and I know to you, it's a quality. We use it religiously yeah. in the restaurants. We right. blend a lot of our vinaigrettes with it when we don't want to use an extra virgin olive oil per se that has right. a ton of flavor. Right. I don't think this is one of those. Unless you're really slow temperature cooking on this, I think extra virgin olive oil is, is your friend in this. Right. But in a high temperature kind of thing, uh, we don't. Um, one okay. thing I, I, I've been meaning to get is a, is a, is a temperature gun for this. Right. We have them at right. all the places. We have them all over yeah. the restaurant. We'll, we'll have it ne on the so, next yeah, episode for sure. And I think a temperature gun in this is, is one of the greatest things because you can go right to the surface and tell, it tells you what your oil is going to be at right. and what, what optimal to it. So on, on these uh, game day wings, you know, it's just not going to be pig skin and, and pig fat. We're going to start with some uh, flour. These are pretty right there. I like the new things that you guys are yeah. coming out with. So, I mean, we start out with some flour. And the fire disc line of seasonings, I, I, I mean, when you let me try them, I opened up each one of them, and I was sitting here by myself one night, and I tasted them. And made notes on them and said, you know, and just kind of, and I tried to guess the ingredients in them and say, right. hey, what's happening? So it was kind of a fun to, to test myself and see if it, <laughs> I, you know, I probably got about 50% of the ingredients right. They're, they're really good blends. On um, this one, I, I mean, you know, like we said, there's just no thing. This is a, the freaking out, freaking a foul seasoning. Nice. I, I'm about to mess this up. You told me I couldn't use any, <laughs> any bad F bombs in here, which, you know, I'm partial to. So, um, you know, in Florida, you have humidity. So, and these, uh, that's just coming from naturalness. So, and I season up that flour really good right there. And we're just gonna cook the wings from a, from a, a almost a raw state, you know, right. because sometimes you don't wanna mess up the wings too much, you know, because it's, it, in essence, it's very, and I look at it in ratio, and I know that we're gonna need some more foul seasoning. Can you just reach for it? I tell you, this is, it's, now, did, it's making me hungry right now, I can tell you that. Now, do these come with the, uh, the, the, or do you buy these separately? Yeah, so the, the, uh, the spice kits, uh, you can buy this, the full spice kit, or you can buy the, the spices individually as well. So, that's awesome. Yeah. No, that's they are good. really good. I mean, I've, I've tried them all. I really, the fajita's great, the, the beef seasoning, um, and we're going to use the, the chili in the next recipe. Oh, okay, I was so, about to say, I'm using yeah. it on Sunday. Because yep. you know today's actually not game day. That's right. But I'm gonna, you know, I didn't want to do that, and I, I'm so excited to be outside. Sorry. It's all right. The so, glorious thing. And then we have our, our chicken wings oh, right here. Oh, here we go. Yep. Nice. Woo -hoo. Perfect. 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 And see, I can see that your bacon's continually still starting to give here. Still, so, I mean, you, you can use the bacon as a tester. And see, up, oh, see. There we go. We, we know that we're good and hot right there. And see how we're just going to leave that bacon up there to do this? And just kind of go up in there and continue to... Oh yeah, so we're at a good frying temperature right here. Looking now do you want me to do the honors or you know, can I direct you? Because I, I mean, usually I have a team of guys with me um, that do stuff with me. Well, I'm I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll mix it up here. Why don't, why don't you, um, why don't you prep the, uh, the first one? To prep the first one okay. here, and then we'll... So we're going to do them, and as we said, if we feel like we're crowding the pan, we'll pull them off after we get, they get done, and then we can easily uh, get the oil out of there, get them in, and then we can make the sauce in there uh, to do that. So, I mean, I just get, get some of... I try not to crowd the bowl, because you always come back, and then, right. then if, you know, the other thing is... You know, a lot of people brine them and do a lot of things, but as, as we talk, now I start with the bones and the meat that's going to, you know, take a little bit longer to cook. Right. Oh, that's nice, bro. Now. Looks good, good, good. Now this good. is just an all-purpose flour done with the, the freaking A fowl seasoning. And see, yeah, I'm just going to lie them in there. Lie them on. Now one thing as a cook that, you know, and a chef that I always, see, you know, see people doing, and I kind of... I cringe on it, is they'll just sit there and they'll lay stuff going down that way. But the most important thing when you're doing something is lay it away from you. Right. So it's, it's just uh, basically if they have their splatters, you know, it's going to hit our buddy, the, the dog who's sitting right behind you, so be careful, <laughs> you know. And uh, 
you know, that way. And you can just also, too, take it and then just kind of... And these are, this, is, this is one of the things I see when I see new, 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 new chefs, uh, new cooks coming through the restaurants. How they place things in pans is right. tells me how, how, how many times they've been burned or what they actually know. Because, right. And those are one of those things that I, I really, I like to teach a lot, uh, right. is, is how to do that. Now, what I do is I have this on low. Pretty sure I'm on low. Yep, I'm on low. And then, Todd, do you want to just man some of those? Uh, yep. Just kind of move them around. Ooh, that's looking good already. Okay, now that looks pretty pretty high, bro. So I can I can now I need to dig it, dig, dig, dig with it. Okay, I'm gonna go in there. So yep, yep. Watch out. Go in there. Pop. You see how that oil uh, is getting some of that bacon fat treatment in there, yeah. which love it. In love turn, it. get our uh, our wings nice and nice. There you go. Yeah, let's get some more going on there. So these wings, I mean, it kind of depends on, you know, the temperature, how hot it is, how long they take. What about uh, ten minutes or so? I felt that. 10, you know, I mean, I mean, from raw. I mean, um, when you go and you have them in restaurants, sometimes they'll stage the cooking. Right. Um, some places steam them. Some places. Pre-fry them. The, the Korean fried chicken thing that you see right now. Right. Everybody's doing it twice fried. Um, oh really? There's why wouldn't you fry it twice? Yeah. You know, it's just, just you know. <laughs> so and, and then on that second frying, they're actually frying off the sugars and, and more stuff on it. So they'll fry it in like a light, nice flour, uh, rice or something like that. So you can play with your flours and, and create a, a nicer. So the more you put in there, the more your oil is going to come out. So right. it's just like a, a, a turkey on a there, and then we got that. And, awesome. So why don't you um, why don't you finish these up? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna set up the other fire disc here. All right, sure. Show people what's up and how easy it is. So how easy it is to, to put together, as well as um. Now use the sink real quick. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thanks. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the goulash in the other fire disc while these are these are cooking as well. So as you can see, we've, we've got three pieces. It's really simple. I already, I already have the, uh, the propane canister on there, but it's just slide it together, and that's it. And put the, uh, put the, put the bowl on there in the disc. Um, one of the cool things is that we just came out with the. Uh, if you have a fire disc and you. Um, and you don't have the new disc cleats on there, it's a really, it's a fantastic improvement. As you see when I put these on there, they just slide on the, uh, the tips here. Set the bowl, and it's really stable, it doesn't move, it's, it's fantastic. So you can get those on our website, um, brand new. We've had them, I don't know, probably a month or so. So if you definitely don't have those, you want to pick those up for your, uh, for your fire disc. So, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is put on uh, forgot to put on the windscreen here, which is great. We don't have a lot of wind here today, but I still still like to use it. Um, kind of protects that flame. I'm going to go ahead and. I think this is great when you're when you're out uh, if you're out camping or anything like that, and you're yeah. out in an open field. This this is brilliant because I I think the flame is something that really can run away from you and affect the, the, the cooking. Yeah, yeah, it's not, you know, it's not as easy. Yeah, it would transfer, you know, whatever flame I would have. And then it would also take the pure, pure heat that's coming off that blue right. flame. That's what we really want to capture. What's up? You need some? No. Oh, you I'm got the flame? I'm just grabbing some bacon. All right. Oh. So we're going to get this. Uh, so you started from cold and then, then. I just lay it in there. there. We had this one already warmed up, and that, yeah. that's where it, it went really fast. But just lay that in there. So let that start, and we'll, we'll continue on the wings, and I'll kind of move move back and forth here. So yeah, so I'm just moving them around, getting their surfaces going. You know, sometimes it's best to just kind of let them do their thing. You know, a little bit, you know, oil, 
because I've got, a, you know, we could turn it up and it'd go a little bit hotter. Um, so this has, this has actually like simply, you know, six temperatures. So it's got low, uh, low, medium, right. medium, medium, high, high, and then high. So five. Yeah. So, so five temperatures that we can actually control it at. Yeah. And I think that's uh, for something as simple as this that, that's in design when you have the flexibility to right. as, a, as a pillar. I mean, most most of the time, I really, I think I, I like doing it on high most of the time. I, I think it's, uh -huh. it, one of the things about the fire disc really is that it, it cooks so fast. And, um, man, it's just, sometimes it cooks too fast for you, you know, you can't. You can't enjoy that that bev that cold beverage. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Well, that that's where I'm a, I'm a I'm a control freak. I'm kind of the opposite, but that's just uh, that's why we're friends. So, <laughs> you know, I I'm a I gotta always be low and in control. With, with, right, you right, know. right. I I probably uh, would have flown uh, F16s if I wanted to, to really crash and burn all the time. <laughs> that's funny. Should be as long as we grab these other songs here and. Make sure this is seasoned up and ready to go. All right. Those Done. are looking those are looking really good. Yeah. My son's gonna come out any minute and just take a piece of bacon right out of his hand and, <laughs> and run, run like you know, like the the hamburger and the McDonald's thing. I tell you, it, it's a that's the other cool thing about the fire dish really is it's just inviting, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's round and um, so yeah, you got you got nice people can stand stand around it and you know watch you cook and hang out and have good conversation. Oh, yeah, you have yeah you have actually 360 degrees of yeah. Now, when you're laying them down in there, you get, you know, I would, if I was really your friend, I'd give you a warning here, I'm going to lay this down. So. Look at these bad boys, they're just coming yeah, out nice. Coming out nice. So, as we're doing, as we're cooking these, uh, these wings and the bacon here is going as well, I want to also tell you about, we're doing a, a monthly giveaway on firediscookers.com so go to go to the website and you'll see in the top menu it says february giveaway and you know register to win we're giving away i, I believe a brick red cooker and a ultimate cooking weapon which is right here this big old spatula it's kind of cool we'll, we'll use it here in a minute to also take out some of this grease before we we do the wing you know, sauce the base so, with it? yeah well, that guy really didn't have, uh, <laughs> like that stop sign, did he? <laughs> so, yeah, so, I mean, that's one of the things also, too, that I, you know, you see a lot of, you know, the, keeping the parts that are dry, but, you know, we constantly do this in the restaurant, usually with butter and at a lower temperature. Uh, and then we get our herbs in there, but we call it basting. So we're constantly, and like, like you want to continue to cook it, you know, the bacon, it'll help out. I know you're eyeing my bacon, bro. Oh, it's looking really good. You know? You might have to try that here pretty quick. Now, I know, you know, today we're kind of cooking a little unhealthy, so I, I would like to tell you, one thing I, I found that the fire dish do is so cool, bro, is I'm a big vegetable person, and, right. you know, I, I have access to some killer farms around here. You know, last Saturday, you know, when I was cooking at home on the night, you know, they have the Winter Park Farmer's Market right outside of our back door of the restaurant. Right. And, you know, I have a relationship with the farm. So I go over there and I grab a bunch of vegetables and stuff, clean them up, and... That's amazing. I think this thing just was so, so good. You got a little uh, flame on that there. Oh, That's yeah. Good. It's all good. So, you know, in TV time, I mean, here you have the onions in this cut for your goulash. Uh, you know, I love this bacon fresh dude. This is brilliant. Yeah. I mean, I, I probably... Sound I'll, I'll say I found out. out. What's that? Sound just basting it out oh, of there. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Can, they, never, see, can they see that in the video? I hope. I, I hope they can see that blood well in it. If they can, it just looks good. You know, I'm feeling good about I it. I want to tell you, that is a new... I'm, I didn't know that technique, so there's a new one. Just Hopefully, keep, you're going to you're gonna just kind of... These are just kind of, you know... Continue to ooze out as we as we move forward. Yeah, you know, it's like 
<laughs> like football, man. You come up with a new move all the time, you know? And it's, uh, cooking should be that way. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it, 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 it's like taking a new dish and that you think is new and doing old things, but then doing something you haven't done in a while. Yeah. But, no, that's, that's awesome. I, I don't know why I never thought of that. No, the basting or the, <laughs> yeah. the, the... Exactly. I always try and, you know, push it down in there, move them around. Yeah, yeah. That's an easy, I'm easy solution. Now, they are coming along pretty well. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting close. They're getting close. close. Sometimes you gotta come on over, I just want... Can I make a confession? What's that? It's the first time I've done this, my wings and the... <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's another cool thing about it too, is, is you have the confidence in here right. that you're not gonna mess it up. A lot of people are always sit there and say, well, what do you cook that in? What temperature do you right. cook it at? Uh, you, was that a convection oven or a regular oven? Or I need something special to that? You know, with this, you don't need a lot of special. It just comes back to basics, flat out, you know, basics that, that right. it's just common sense that you can sit there and know. Like I'm looking at your gulag pan right there. I know that smoke, you may be burning it. So I'm it's just right. joking, but you know, what do it's I know? All right. It's all right. I know. Um, so I think, you know, for me, one of the things when I first got, got my fire disc, um, was it, it was a little intimidating at first. I mean, you got a lot of surface area. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things is really figuring out, you know, where do you cook, for, what do you cook first, right? If you're cooking a one pot meal. So I think one of the things that we're going to share over time is, you know, what do you cook first to be successful, right? And, you know, cook that and then move it out and then cook the next thing. And by the time you're done, you've got, you know, an amazing meal. So we're going to really, you're going to share that with everybody. And I think that's one of the, the keys with the fire disc, no matter if you're, you know, cooking in your backyard with friends or, you know, taking it on the boat and, and cooking burgers and dogs on the beach or, you know, camping wherever, wherever you go with this in your RV. I mean, it's, it's, it's really an amazing cooking tool. So... Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm super excited to to learn more about how to use a fire disc. I mean, it's just a lot of fun. Period. Yeah. We gotta right. get our, we gotta get our friends in uh in Texas to, to to get a fired up camper. There you go. And we go on a world tour. Yeah. And uh, I'm in on it as long as we get fish and hunt while we're there. That's right. Um, I'm, I'm sure in. they're they're probably watching. So fired up camper. I like that. You know, probably you know. That's awesome. So one of the one of the other things too is that you know, Chef Ran and I are gonna we're gonna have some some special guests as well from time to time, other chefs from from around the country, and we're for sure gonna have our other newest ambassador is uh, the legendary angler Flip Pallet. So he's gonna be joining us Ooh. as well. So I'll be really excited for that. And I, I hope it's here at my house, or we can do it at his house. <laughs> you know, I hope I get an invite on that one. You know, Flip, if you're watching, make sure I get invited, bro. Yeah. You know, any, any chance to hang out with Flip is a good day. Yeah, it's... You know, it's a, a Florida legend and a world legend, not just Florida. Yeah. World yeah. legend. No, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're, you know, we've got a lot of other events coming up um, in Florida and Texas. So be sure you, you check the website and Facebook for our events page. And we'll... Uh, We'll just keep firing it up. Yeah, you know, that's one thing that, that when uh, we, we, we talked about it, I looked at it and I said, you know, from uh, we always do these outdoor uh, events and stuff like that. And right. one thing, you know, we get a little tent given to us and they insist, you know, if you have a fire or anything like that, that, you know, you have, and everybody, you know, they have these little tabletop things and they're very, I hate to say it, wimpy. Yeah. We're wimpy at, at, at best. And this thing, uh, when I start doing the outdoor festivals, you know, right now it's, it's spring in, in some parts of Florida, but we're right. having it. Uh, and even catering events, this thing is, is just like, uh, it's going to be a whirlwind for us in our restaurants. Right. Know, to, to utilize, to not just to be able to serve. Right. And uh, that I'm really stoked and excited about. And I know a lot of uh, my chefs in the restaurants, they're, they're good about it. Yeah. So, you know, as you saw on this one, the great thing about the the disc, you know, you can keep smooth stuff up there and still kind of 
you know, get, keep it warm and keep it up there in the thing, but it's not, it's not down here in the fryer. So I, I'm not using a lot of plates at all. Right. So that's, that's, you know, my bacon's still lowly going up here. And you can see it, man. It's just, uh, fun. Oh, good. So, yeah, this is... now you're going to walk me through your goulash and, and that, and, uh, I am. you know, so it's, thing... it's, it's definitely a neighborhood favorite around my neighborhood. Yeah. Not too far from here, but um, yeah, it's uh, the goulash. I mean, the last time I did it, we had 15, I, I believe around 15 people. So it, it feeds a lot. It's super simple. And it One pot. tastes amazing. One pot. Yeah. Um, and the other cool thing is that you can also just eat right out of the fire disc. You know, you just grab a big spoon and you can eat right out of the fire disc. It's, That's cool. It's awesome. Look so, at that. So... Those tongs, man, those... Yeah, they that. actually work, right? That looks, that looks great. Man, yeah. those wings are coming along fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I, I, I won't talk about your new secret weapons here, they're, but they're very, uh, yeah. they're very cool. Yeah, we don't want, we, yeah, we we don't want to talk we about them We yet. should have hidden them. All right, I'm going to find something here. Is there an extra bowl here? Yep, anything you need, bro. I'm just going to... Put this bacon in here for now. Then I'm you can gonna throw it in mine if you want. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wipe this up while these are finishing. Um, this is gonna be ready shortly to start that goulash. All right. You know, chicken wings are one of the things my kids eat. You know, right? That uh, without resistance and and, and total. Uh, I mean, now we're looking good here. So one thing you taught me, uh, and I was just like, oh, you know, you know, was was using the uh, the nice there little thing go. here to get the fat out. Yeah. Uh, so if you need to remove some of this. But this version of wings is kind of based a little bit on a Nashville uh, hot wing recipe. So you probably use some of that, So right? we're going to use some of this fat right there. Because that's how they like it in Nashville. Mm. So I'm going to put that off to the side and keep that much. Try not to burn my... So right there. Awesome. Out of the way the kitties. And then that will create a nice little sauce and get it back in there. And now, keep the bacon in there, but I'm going to remove it over here. Look at that bacon, bro. Mm. It's goodness. I'll just move that on my cutting board close to me so I can get into it. And then we have this right there. And we're going to get our butter in there, and it's going to start to melt. And... Mm. Can't yeah, wait to taste these suckers. Yeah, and then, then we get our butter melting, so get it nice and foamy and frothy. And then right about the time, so that's gonna cool it down a lot. And right when the butter starts to to do what it's doing, there's so much residual pan left in this mm -hmm. that so now is about the time I turn our our, our friend off. And then yeah, look at that. Yeah, nice Wait and frothy. So everybody can see that. Woohoo! See there that? And so, as I said, without always stand back right there. That's that's a French red hot. That's a lot right there. You know, we may have to add a little bit more once we taste it. Stand back because that'll do that. And then our buddy, the honey. Ooh. Honey bee. Sweet, spicy, and sour. So really, it's um. So see that bath, and I'm just gonna face there. Oops, that's okay. And then get them right there, nice glaze. Man. And then you know you got flour that's it, that, you know in there, the 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 wings cooking. You see, it's still bubbling, and you, I just leave mine in there for about another minute. 
Um, okay. Yeah, this is one of the things that I like about you know when you're at home cook. You know, the re re in a restaurant they don't have time to you know take these little extra steps that you can do right. here at home. So. Well, I think you, you told me too that you know you do a lot of experimenting here on the, on the family. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean that, and you know, uh, my outdoor lab. You know, sure. it's it's uh, you know if I can at any time, you know, be out here. Yeah. That's... Versus being underneath the you know we yeah. have the ventilated hood systems yeah. and stuff like that, and they make a lot of noise. And you yeah. know, restaurants in general are loud, especially you know the the, right. the popular ones are, which right, is right. good. Yours are really loud. Very loud. <laughs> And so this this is where you get your peace and your serenity and yeah. all that stuff. And you know, then we just got a, a nice little platter over here for our game day. Oh yeah. Hmm. Here, I'll hold that. You want to do that? All right. Now you're gonna put me to work chopping. I have a feeling. Yep. You are gonna be the chop master here pretty quick. Oh man. So. Looking good. And I always, you know, do the stuff on the side, but I've done these ribs so many times that, you know, I'll, we'll have a we'll have a rib uh, a website recipe. But <laughs> this is, you know, I, I do right. this, you know. Anyway, so here's uh, as you all can see, you know, Chef Brandon's mm -hmm. fire disc wings. We were using the freaking they fowl, so yep. that's got the salt yep. in it. And Down further? Oh, there you too, go. Too far. Too far? Can you see it now? There. Perfect. That good? All right. Anyways, excited. Thank you. That's I'm awesome. Advisor, bro. All right. Now let's. Uh, we're going to set this aside. We're going to come back to those and have a few here in a little bit. I'm sure. So as um, we're going to let this, uh, we'll clean this up in a little bit. But let's get started on the uh, on the goulash. So, Chef Brandon, why don't you why don't you cut up the onions and the peppers? Um, yeah, this goulash is, I guess, one of my family's. I mean, I grew up on it, right? It's inexpensive, easy to easy to do. Um, it was one of my mom's, you know, staples growing up. So I just converted it to the uh, to the fire disc. So what we're gonna do here is first and foremost, um, we're gonna we're gonna turn the heat back up a little bit, and then the first thing that that goes in is the uh, is the burger here. So I'm gonna. Dump in, and that's that's about uh, three pounds of burger. So, do you use uh, what kind of sirloin do you use? Do you, do you use top top round chuck? Uh, I you use. Preferred? You know, I, I think it's the 92 percent, whatever that that is. Mm -hmm. It's the oh, you know green white stuff. Um, so, anyways, we'll get get started on that. You know, with the bacon in there, I think you could always say whatever's on sale. That's right. You know, because right. the bacon's already going to give it the flavor in, in a way. So, so I'm going to start with the uh, on the goulash here, Chef. Yeah. The uh, Which, what, you want the, the bodacious there? the bodacious beef seasoning. So I'm going to put some of that in here just to get started. And we're gonna the first thing you do on this is just brown the meat. And um, once the meat is brown, then we'll then we'll put in the uh, the onions and the peppers and cook those cook those together. But if you if you have if you have a lot of people, this is a fantastic recipe. And we're gonna we're gonna move the, the other camera over here just a second to uh, so y'all can see what we're cooking. I'm gonna tell you, it's it's funny. So whenever I start cooking, I, I really like, you know, at, at my house we have a we have a little uh, I would call it a, a pond in the front yard. So I don't usually cook in the in the backyard. I like to cook, you know, in the driveway in the pond. But when my neighbor when my neighbors wouldn't it always be considered a lake? Yeah, kind of, little, yeah. kind of a lake. But um, anyways, but when my see, my neighbors see me. Pull the fire disc out. You, they, they, they come running, and I can tell you all the dogs in the neighborhood. <laughs> when they walk so, by so our left, house, they're left, like, "Lefty's no dummy." Yeah. He knows what's up. He knows where he's gonna get the food. 
got a beautiful assortment of peppers here, bro. Yeah, so with this one, it's, you know, four peppers. I, I like to, you know, color it up. It looks good. I'm going to add some more seasoning here. There we go. It's cooking down good. Browning up. Fire this thing up a little more. So I hope everybody's kind of learning some stuff here and enjoying it. I don't know if we got any comments. Um, be great. We'll uh, you know we'll continue to answer those comments. Um, you know after after we're done. Um, the beer edit. That's right. So if we don't answer them right away, we'll definitely get to them. So uh, just a reminder too that um, you know we also have uh, with the Fire Disc uh, Fired Up Fridays. We also have the Fire Disc group on Facebook. It's a great place to join. Just go to the group and uh, ask to join. Anybody can join. You know we, we've got lots of you know Fire Disc owners sharing recipes, photos, and stuff. And we're going to be doing some other giveaways on on the owners page as well. So. You know, really, our goal is is uh, you know really not to make this an infomercial about fire disc. It's it's about you know sharing ways and tips and tricks and you know really picking Chef Brandon's mind on how we can we can make our cooking experience better with the fire disc. Smile and have fun. That's right. It's all about having fun. And to be doing it outside is 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 yes. amazing. But I, th I think you know one of my favorite things too is is cooking breakfast on this because yeah I know one of the things my wife hates is me cooking bacon in the house Ooh. and so this is a savior because I love bacon I love bacon bacon with breakfast it's amazing I, I always go back to uh, you know that one uh, you know I love the smell of napalm in the morning I, I love the smell of bacon in the morning yeah. you know it's awesome. All right, this is getting pretty close here already. Are you, uh, how are you coming on those? Oh, man, I got the onions ready to go. And, uh, onions ready? behind it, I'll have peppers. Awesome. Am I ready? I'm ready. I'm going to grab those onions real quick. Thank you. So I'm just going to dump these onions right in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so have you already put awesome. your seasoning in there? I, I heard you talk about it, dude. I did. I did. Okay. I, I put some of the... Uh, Chili stuff? No, not yet. That'll go in when we when we put the, uh -huh. the, the tomatoes and stuff okay. in. So, really, just seasoning the beef right now. And I'm I'm gonna add some more to that here in just a second. But as you can see, it's so simple, easy. Okay, you got me over here. I can do it. Job, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good time. I've well, this it. is my recipe, I've right? I've done it a couple. Yeah. That's right. Yes, yes, chef, as we said. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Coming along good, looking mm -hmm. good. Woo! I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's professional right there. Mm -hmm. Why don't you talk a little bit about, I mean, you taught me something about cutting with a knife and how to hold the knife. Why don't you share? It's a really, it's a really cool thing. So um, you see a lot, when I, when I tell you, you know, you were back here on the knife like this, so you were kind of holding it like up here flimsy. Right. And so what it gave is, a, is the knife a lot of things. But if you get up on the knife and you choke it and you hold it, and eventually if you do a lot of cu cutting or anything like that, yeah. you'll do that. But what you're able to do is you're rocking it. If you're back here, if you don't have no right. con any control of the, the knife. So all we're doing is really just putting it you know, in there. I'm holding it up here mm -hmm. on, on that, that, that bolster and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm kind of up more up on the knife and controlling it like that. You know, very, very few cooking applications are you ever back here on the knife. Right. Like this. So I mean, that was all, that was a great trick. You know, I mean, and once you did it, I saw you, and I was just like, there you go. Yeah. And then, of course, holding your fingers, you know, always behind in your, in your knuckle and forward, and then never taking your, your blade higher than your knuckle. There you go. So if you're coming down like a, a Chinese guy with a cleaver, uh, make sure that hand's up there, yeah? <laughs> you know? But... Right. 
I've always, you know, personally been afraid of cleaver, just because never been an axe guy either, you know, but, you know, yeah. that's the new rage of the axe thing. I that's mean, right. The we're getting one here in town, uh, right around the street. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that. Maybe a little fire dist, you know, maybe a little cooking at the axe, and, axe and throwing place. Axe throwing place. A little yeah. contest going uh -huh. on. All right, man, All right, that's so, looking good. So we got these beautiful rainbow of peppers here. That's that All should right. do it. All right, you got that bowl that uh, I, I do right here. here. Awesome. Slide that in there. We are ready for it. Do you ever do any jalapenos or anything like that in here and stuff you like know, that? You know, I, I I did if I, for the smaller batch mm -hmm. stuff. Um, you know, but most people don't necessarily like jalapenos, so when I'm doing it for a big crowd, but anyways, you could. You can see those beautiful peppers in there. Just kind of, it just looks good. I had some garlic here, Todd. Uh, do you want any of that in your recipe? Um, yeah, we could throw some garlic in there. Okay. That'd be good. I'm just going to spice that up one more time. You know, that's, that's the way to go right there. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good bacon. Never had a bad piece of bacon. No, no. It's like a bad hot dog. Never had that one. A little more of the bodacious beef. And really it's just, you know, the seasoning part's just experimenting. Honestly. Now, if you went, didn't have this going, you know, you just kind of do like what we do in the restaurants is, uh, before you start cooking, I, I'm a big person on this, but I was here to kind of help you out through it. But you'd have all this already chopped and ready to go yep. before you even almost turned everything on. That way, while you're cooking, you yep. there with a glass of wine and stuff like that, um, we, we, we call that uh, mise en place. Everything in its place before you start cooking. Yeah. And you have it diced, and that way, you know, if you just if you do that, I think that's one of the best uh, well, I, I ways want, to do it. I wanted people to see how you, you know. Oh, sure. No, no, I get little, it. That little knife trick. No, all no, right, no. so now we've got... Uh, We've got crushed, crushed tomatoes here, so we're going to put, um, not the, these are the diced tomatoes, so we'll put the diced tomatoes in first, and then the crushed tomatoes. Get this moved around, and then the next, next ingredient is the key to this whole thing, which is... Well, which know. is which is beef stock. Um, I, I don't know. It, it it makes it taste amazing, and also it's important when you put the elbow macaroni in there. What what I'm impressed about this too is is, and I think this was one of the first things I, I told you about. And you said, oh yeah, that's how I do my goulashes. You can take dry pasta, and as long as you got a liquid in there, yep. you can cook it in there Absolutely. and do it. You know, this is how we do it a lot of times with family meal and a big big cooker at the restaurant we right. have to instead of having a pot of water boiling and we cook our pasta just separately in that right you can have if you have the no, pr proper amount of ratio right. of liquid and you have enough surface area right. it's going to reduce yep. and that's cool because well, this just, here is going to allow the liquid to to, to yep. move out quickly yep. and, and come down and concentrate on the noodle yep. as so, it cooks so all right here goes the the beef stock and then shortly after goes the uh the elbow noodles right in there um, again we'll have this recipe on the website so you don't have to worry about it now but that goes in there and now we start to start the season this one's not opened up so yet. the garlic's actually a seasoning agent for you in, in the final cooking process this opened up And this is the chili seasoning. And I like to be generous with this chili seasoning. It's awesome. So this this is a goulash, but it's like a it's like a part mac and you know, there's you, you don't have cheese in this, but, but it's right. part part uh, hamburger helper in a way, I guess, you know. <laughs> hamburger, kinda... hel hamburger helper Come versus on. uh we all grew up in Hammer Helper. That's I mean, right. I'm looking at yeah. This I mean, is this sophisticated. Is I like that. I like the sophisticated. sophisticated. Do you want this garlic or? Yeah, okay. that'd be great. All 
Absolutely. Um, and then uh, meets uh, it's, it's, it's it's like a blondie. It's it's part brownie, part cookie. Yeah, you right. know, it, it, it hasn't made its decision. So this is like part chili, part uh, hamburger helper. That's meets, right. Meets That's goulash. Right. That's right. And, and forms a. Uh, an amazing fuller co uh, concoction. That's right, that's right. So yeah, I mean, this is, that's it. I mean, we'll just, con we're, we're gonna continue to cook this down, um, but you just really cook it down till till the uh, till the elbow macaroni is is tender. And that's And if it, and and if it doesn't it. have enough liquid in it, uh, so you just add a little bit more in there? Yeah, you, okay. can, you can add either beef stock or, or water. Or water. Okay. And, um, but it's looking good, so. Anyways, I think, you know, um, just a reminder that, you know, if you, if you made comments, we're going to do some giveaways. Uh, we're going to pick some random, random winners. Again, we've got, uh, we've got a, um, you know, fire disc apron here. I'm going to show you that, which is pretty cool. Um, we're going to be giving, giving this away. It's going to have that with, with a hat and, and also the, uh, a whole box of the, uh, box of the fire disc seasoning so we're going to give that away to some lucky winners as well um yeah it's been it's been fun i mean i, I awesome. think you know it's our first one we're super excited i think we'll, the ribs are cool now i think we should yeah we should maybe we should try those. Um, maybe, i gotta get them all the wings the wings the wings look at that man alive. i think my kids left for football practice so i think Ooh. these are going to be all ours mm. You hear that every time. Mmm, so good. But they're really good. So, we'll, uh... Right on. Man, nice job. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna put these recipes up on the website, and uh, you'll be able to find them also, uh, a link on Facebook. Uh, make sure that you follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Um, also, you know, these, these uh, Fired Up Fridays will be on, on our uh, YouTube channel as well. But uh, we're, we're super excited to you know, get this series going and, and really discover all the stuff you can do with, uh, with the fire disc. Again, make sure you join the fire disc group. Anybody can join. You know, we'll have some good giveaways on there. Also some special promotions for people that, that are members of the group. And uh, man, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to continue to do this and, and have fun and, and really provide some really interesting recipes and some great tips from Chef Brandon. Man, I can't thank you enough. It's going to be fun. All right. Stay tuned for the next episode. Hope your team wins.